Hi, I'm George Crump, lead analyst for Storage Switzerland. We're at VMworld 2015. One of the big issues here is data protection and copy data management. We have all this data and how do we protect it and make sure we're managing it effectively. Joining me on the whiteboard today is Stefan Gale. Stefan is the data storage manager at the Fairfax County Public Schools in Virginia. That's correct. Stefan, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. So you're kind of like in the in the heat of the storm here. You've got a public school with how many students? Uh, about 250,000. See, that's like 249,000 too many. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, so let's let's talk about your data storage challenges there. Just kind of broadly, just from an IT perspective, what are the kind of services you guys are having to deliver to these students, and obviously the faculty and everything else? Well, uh, the biggest issue is providing uh, home shares and uh, data for data space for faculty, staff, and students um, to store their classroom work, their uh, business side work and everything else on. Okay, and so it looks like you've got that drawn up here. It looks like you guys, the, the ends I think stand for NetApp, right? So you've yes. got a fair investment in NetApp to help you accomplish that, right? Yes, we do. Okay, and then a VMware environment, what does that use? VMware is running on HP class servers. Okay. All right, so uh, now the, obviously the, the uh, NetApp environment, a lot of home directories there, probably a lot of, do you have a feel for how much data we're talking about here? Um, we're close to about, right now, usable is probably about five to 600 terabyte. Wow, that is a lot of data, okay. So then, um, so we're gonna talk about uh, how you're using uh, uh, Catalogic's ECX solution to uh, help with that, but before you got to there, what was some of the challenges you were having in dealing with this data? Um, before we actually moved over to ECX, we didn't have a clear cut way of backing up and using the SIFS data. Um, we were dependent on NetApp itself to store that data. Um, and as far as our VMs, we had to go through a proxy server and um, mount LUNs and dismount LUNs in order to do backups, which slowed us down because then we had to depend on our LAN to move the traffic across. Talk a little bit about how that implementation went. Uh, the implementation is actually uh, fairly fairly easy. Um, originally, we had set up a couple of test um, scenarios and ran those through. And then uh, later on, we had um, Catalogic come in and actually check our implementation and tweak it and make it better. So you got it started all by yourself without yes. even them showing up. Well, that's pretty good. So I, I think that's one of the things we, we see in this space. We, we talk about um, sort of in place versus rip and replace type of solutions. And, and the value of this sort type of solution is that you can get it installed with not a lot of effort because it's, it's so seamless to the environment, right? Yes, it's, uh, the interface and everything was very easy to uh, maneuver through and set up um, from the beginning. Um, so that part helped a lot because it didn't need a lot of you know, hands on, it didn't need a lot of uh, expertise coming in to get it up and running. Oh, that's great. So then um, once you got it up and running, so talk about sort of the before and after. What are you seeing now as, as far as backup windows and things like that? Um, now our backup windows as far as this data is taken off of our primary backup uh, window uh -huh. because we can run this at any time uh, during the day using snapshots and snap vaulting through ECX which basically, you know, frees us up to, you know, run that outside of our normal backup. So basically uh, that big chunk of data, I think you said was 600 terabytes, is, is no longer a problem. You can just kind of focus on this little chunk now, right. right? Makes a lot of sense. So what about recoveries? Have you had to do any recoveries with this environment? Uh, yes, we've done uh, file level recoveries uh, going into the ECX uh, interface um, and pulling uh, individual files um, that were deleted or lost and restoring them back to the original location. Okay, and it worked seamlessly, all that kind of good stuff? Yes, uh, everything was in, you know, intuitive straight through the uh, interface. There was no extra headaches, no extra pieces that had to be done in order to get the data back. Okay, and then uh, as you kind of look out into the future, it sounds like this is working really well for you. What's the, what's the next step for you guys? Uh, the next step is to basically go in and uh, put our VM environment completely over into the ECX uh, environment. Um, and also we're leveraging more with the analytic piece and pulling uh, that data out to actually make future uh, decisions. Well, let's, let's talk about that a little bit because that's one of the things that you know copy data can really empower is this sort of the analytics process. What are some things you've learned as, as, as you've kind of implemented this? Um, we've been able to go in and we've been able to identify you know trouble spots, um, uh, age data, you know um, data you know four, five, six years old. We've been able to identify that. We've been able to identify uh, abusive users. Um, other storage space, you know, and get those taken care of. And, you know, uh, those kind of things there, we've 
seen the most uh, benefit from. And, and I would think in, a, in a, a public school environment, because your users are, for lack of a better word, transient, right? They're not going to be in the public school forever. Right. That you have to be able to identify that when they've left the curriculum and it's time to maybe either archive or get, uh, get rid of their data, right? Right, yes. And that, you know, that part comes in. We go through and with the help of the analytics, we can actually, you know, pick up folders and stuff like that that were left behind um, that may not have been purged or removed and we can later go back and have that stuff cleaned up as well. Okay, great. So all in all, happy with the Catalogic solution? Yes, very much so. I'm George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland. Thank you for joining us today.